welcome let's talk about the paper solution for psychology this time now the psychology paper uh, as usual had a component of applicative as well as the direct question now the very first question is how descriptive research is different from a diagnostic research so if we go on to the methods of research and the concepts of research we have covered here the various types of scientific research and there uh, the research types and types of scientific research where we have covered the various uh, uh, ideas and perspectives perspective mental health study is a major trend in psychological studies in the 21st century again a very important question for this time now if a patient is undergoing chemotherapy why the knowledge of learning theories can be useful and what learning theories you can apply so here you have to bring into account the classical and the operant learning concepts and the concept of insight and how that would help the person undergoing the chemotherapy the next question is on uh, let's say the subliminal perception so here in the concepts of the lectures if i go and search on perception if i scroll down you see the concept of subliminal perception so what you have to do is on this this page itself you can simply do control f and search the topic and you would see that subliminal perception is a topic that we have discussed here the same goes with the very next topic for example you are looking from pro problem solving so here we have understood the lecture on problem solving so this was the question on 1e similarly the use of computer technology now here is computer simulated computer assisted and computer uh, dependent technology so those have been important the theories of intelligence so if i go back to the concept on intelligence you can see various theories of intelligence we have covered here similarly why research method is considered as a backbone of any research the basis for the research method we have covered in the other class and then uh, the factors affecting it the perceptual readiness in the class on perception again the basics for the basis for uh, motivation the the reasons for motivation psycho cybernetics now cybernetics is again an important topic that we have covered uh, so cybernetics and psycho cybernetics imaginary imagery so that's a very very important topic you can refer this video for more detail uh, similarly program learning uh, so here you go and you have the concept of program and probability learning uh, socialization again uh, the concept of theory hypothesis and operational definition has been covered then you have a question on hypothesis how is hypothesis formulation done and uh, the concepts on hypothesis so here we have the hypothesis testing of hypothesis how do you write a good hypothesis and concepts related to it the questions related to gender de uh, dis uh, sorry decision making gender differences which is uh, the gender psychology so introduction to gender psychology gender discrimination uh, the concepts have been given here the types of personality test again when we have covered personality we have talked about the various types of personality so here we have the uh, it's the personality test which have been let me search okay that's a better way uh, so personality theories right so personality test and measurement of personality so various theories of personality have been given here so you can just go through the piaget's view for intellectual development types of experiment double blind single blind experiments is one of them the difference between intelligence and aptitude aptitude and attitude very very important we have covered that in detail so where we have talked about aptitude creativity intelligence the difference between those have been discussed clearly so those were some of the questions from the paper one coming on to paper two now paper two we had questions related to therapies the types of therapies so here we have the comprehensive list of therapies that have been discussed um, then the diseases so we have schizophrenia as one of the question biofeedback th therapy was asked so biofeedback therapy has been given here the questions related to uh, the various mood disorders for example schizophrenia has been asked and schizophrenia has been given here the next is uh, the behavior therapy we have discussed behavior therapy again in detail uh, the various types of psychological tests the testing methods have been discussed uh, uh, under the section on motivation we have covered maslow's and other hierarchical models uh, rehabilitation again a very important topic we had mentioned it before the class as well so rehabilitation uh, the types of rehabilitation social deviance how do we understand that then social learning theory by bandura and understanding that in the light of criminal uh, behavior has been discussed mass media and its role uh, the consequences of deprivation social integration uh, 
uh, then sports psychology every time you have at least one question from sports psychology one from gender psychology so if you have certain framework in mind you can prepare and write your answers very well from this section self fulfilling prophecy we have discussed again in the section on gender psychology so here we have the self fulfilling prophecy as you can see so the next question pertains to this so from within this section we have numerous questions that have come up and this shows how important it is to understand the 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 applicative part of the concept which has been asked off and on and then you have population explosion and the consequences of population explosion so again in this section itself you had one question on deprivation one on disadvantaged groups which have been given here similarly there have been topics related to population which we have discussed separately and then gender discrimination so there have been three to four questions which have pertained to gender psychology directly or indirectly and have been very very important again environment is one of the topics and these uh, four lectures five lectures pertain to the concepts of gender then there have been a question on uh, pornography addiction and this uh, the digital learning cyber bullying basically the digital etiquettes talks about the concepts and the implications related to those so those were some of the topics that have been covered in case you have any questions or queries feel free to connect back and definitely each of the questions which have been asked in the previous paper the detailed problem solutions and explanations for those topics have been covered so wish you very good luck thanks for joining in today have a wonderful day